Mm. Villanova fans loved seeing and hearing from the team. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands caught up with those who gathered for the celebration, and she joins us live from Dilworth Park with more on the festive fun. Shante. Well, Jessica and Yuki, this park was packed with thousands. This was a huge day, not only for students and alumni and their families, but also for the city of Philadelphia. A lot of school pride and just proud to be a student. From the ground and up above, thousands of fans lined Philadelphia's center city streets to greet the Villanova Wildcats as their 2018 National Men's College Basketball Champions. It was awesome. It was great to see them, like, just in their environment and having everyone support them. It was amazing. All eyes were on Market Street to get a glimpse of the NCAA trophy. I knew we had the best team. I think everybody did. But you never know in the tournament. You know, they, they have to get, you know, they have to be good and get lucky, and they, 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 they did both. It's the Wildcats' third national trophy in the college's history. The first was in 1985. The last victory parade was just two years ago. What was it like back then? Um, it was exciting. I remember in 85, I was probably her age. Oh. In 85, a little bit older, maybe a year older, and it was crazy back then, and it was crazy in 2016. The parade ended at City Hall. Hey, Philadelphia! It's good to see the city so full of love. 2004, waited a long time for this, saw it 2016, missed the parade, wouldn't miss this for the world. I chose the school because of the basketball team, and it's amazing to see how they won. What better way to end our school years? It's great for the city of Philadelphia after yeah. the Eagles, and now hopefully the Sixers. Sixers and hopefully now the Phillies. Now cleanup is continuing. That should be wrapped up within the next few hours. That's the very latest live at Dilworth Park at by Center, Center City, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Yuki and Jess. Shante, thank you so much.